Story time. I'm about to tell you about my recent spiritual attack. It was literally on some Final Destination type shit, bruh. So I know, I mentioned several times before, I rarely go out just because I know I'm a spiritual target. And evil is literally waiting for the moment to attack me. So I went out this night. And literally, it's the fourth time I went out all year long. When you go out in environments full of low frequencies, right? It literally lowers your frequency also when you participate. Hence the reason why I rarely go out. So of course, the evil sees this, right? So it's watching me all night waiting to make this move. So I'm finally on my way home, right? And my tire blows. And the next thing you know, I'm off the road. And this obviously was the work of the evil. But then God stepped in. And somehow I hit the wire that holds the electrical poles up, right? But somehow not actually hitting the pole. Cause the wire itself absorbed a lot of energy from the crash. Now check this out, it also stopped me from going over the hill straight into the pond. So the impact of the crash knocked me out. It knocked out all the power in the area. And my car lost power and went completely dark. That's why I still said the car is parked there. But of course, the evil is still working somehow. My car rolled back down the hill towards the road. But of course, God stepped back in. My car literally stopped parallel to the road within three inches, which obviously prevented another crash that could have took me out also because it was pitch black out there. But luckily, it was three witnesses that seen the accident happen before the power went out, which I won't believe this. The first two witnesses that came, them niggas came to rob me, bruh. Once again, the work of the evil. So the third witness came and got them out of my car and then he woke me up and they called for help. Once again, this was the work of God. But the exact timing of these events, and especially them niggas trying to rob me, was definitely a sign it was a spiritual attack because there was no way it could have happened. Like, like, have you ever heard anything like that before? Like, that shit crazy. So the story proves when you're chosen, the evil will wait for a perfect time to attack you, but God will always be there to counter it. It was literally like a blow-by-blow -blow battle between good and evil. But we all know the good always wins. And I walked away almost untouched. Besides his rage, bruises, soreness, the usual, maybe in addition to my head, because I ain't gonna lie at first, boy, I thought it was over because I could not think. For the first two days, I was worried, man. I thought y'all lost me, but I'm getting better, though. But the way this unfolded definitely confirms I'm here to save and guide people towards this truth, because obviously my work here ain't done. Anyways, y'all know how I keep it. Y'all be gods. Peace.